This is the Santa 212 coming to you for a Talk with Crazy 88 channel. And today, we're going to be going into um, Pacific Rim. Pacific Rim, I went to go see it even though I was sick. That's why I haven't came out with a video lately. I've been coming off a cold. So if I start coughing or I have to pause for a minute, that's just because I'm still feeling the effects of this cold. <clears throat> but, great movie. Big old moments. Big, straight up big old moments. My Hangar Z moments with rocket punches. So, if you ain't seen the video, if you haven't seen the movie, go see it. If you ha haven't seen the movie, don't kind of listen to what I'm about to say because I'm about to do a lot of spoilers. So, if you went to go see the movie, great. Go see. Um, just keep on listening to it. If you didn't, go see the movie. Come back. Re uh, look, at the, uh, look at the video. But, yeah. Great big old moments, real mech fights. The kaiju was great. I mean, I wait for America Godzilla. Dortomo should direct it if they're making a the the Termo or JJ Adams Godzilla, great. They could do a Godzilla <clears throat> especially with the great CG work with this one. Now, yeah, it's getting overly CG and everything is getting too much CG, but you know, you can't really do the monster in the monster suit. Which, maybe you could with CG over the monster suit and make it that way. Put the um, blending elements and making it real and stuff like that. But, visually, it was great to watch. It was a beautiful thing. The mechs were very great. They were very varied. And they positioned themselves as big giant robots with mechanical parts. So, it had to be tr more true to how they moved as a as a, a giant robot with mechanical parts. It wasn't over the over the edge like Go Diner or or Logan. But the mechanical approach of the big O, um the mechanical approach of Go Go Getter and Hangar Z, those are a lot of elements that were put into that movie. Um even the uh, engine types from going um, solar energy to uh, nuclear power. I mean, this this they really brought it into the uh, brought it into the new age. And I hope there's more big giant robot series like that. Um, I would like to see that there will be a sequel. But if you watched it and anybody else watches, no, there's not really no sequel unless they open up another hole to the other dimension. So, really great movie. I mean, really excellent movie. You should go watch it. It's a summer movie that you should really go watch over the couple of movies that I've seen lately. Oh, yeah. And if you're off the point of movies, not to anime, go see Red. Red is a great movie. Red 2 was a great movie. Um, RPD, yeah, sort of. But Pacific Rim... That is the movie you're going to uh, have to go see. Even if, you know, Wolverine came up, go see Wolverine first. But Pacific Rim is a, um, is a one movie that anime people, I think, should have or have in their collection. Um, that will be a definite buy in my collection next to uh, Gundam and stuff like that. Um, what I really wanted to get into is... Um, the anim um, Big Robot anime series. So that'll be in the next video. Really, I just wanted to tell you how great Pacific Rim was, the robot styles, um, the five classes, the kanju was really good. Um, reminds you of King of All Monsters type stuff, Godzilla. So that is a great viewing to see. I mean, visually, it was excellent. Storyline, it was good. Some of the acting could have been a little bit better. Um, everybody, most of the people I've known wanted to see more fighting with the other class type robots and I would have liked to see that too. So there was elements that could have been improved and there are elements that were great in that movie and really it is a movie to go see. So see you later anime fans. Peace.